Well, hello, Internet. Here's a piece of polycarbonate that I found to build a light box with. I found it over here at Regal Plastics. Look them up. Polycarbonate is just a form of uh, plastic. Lexan is the name brand. Anyway, the whole idea here is, is I want to build a box and then put some light in it, cover it up with Lexan, and have me a photography light box. So, the first thing that we need to do is screw a frame together and then put some LEDs in it. Be sure and check your LED strips before you uh, fasten them all down in case one of them wouldn't work. What I found here is that these LED strips aren't very sticky. So I spent quite a bit of time gluing these down. I'd used some hot glue about every four inches apart. As you can see here, one of these strips was a higher quality strip than the other. They're both the same LED light type, but a different brand. I'm using a soldered connection to tie two of these reels together. Um, later on in the video I'll show you how you can do all of the connections necessary for LEDs solderless. Yeah, that's right, no solder is necessary. I just happen to have a soldering gun handy. Uh, this is how I made my connection so that the lights would line up with themselves. Um, I think it's a good way to do it, but you may want to experiment if you want it to look neater. Uh, this does kind of leave a little wad of wire wherever the connection is. And I made sure to glue it down solid so it wouldn't move around. The lower LED light strip is the good quality one. The uh, the other one there I bought from Ally Express and it wasn't quite as good a quality. Just for your benefit, I went ahead and used solderless connectors here when I put the extension cord in because I wanted everyone to, that wanted to do this project to be able to. So you just crimp these solderless connections on. You'll have to probably buy a pair of crimping pliers. I don't think you can get by without that. But those aren't very expensive. I think they're about two or three dollars if you order them through Amazon. And with solderless connections be sure and tape them up good and solid. Moisture can get in a solderless connection and cause it to go faulty. So once you're done with that, make sure that everything's glued down solid. This being the cord, you wouldn't want to jerk on it by accident and rip an LED light in half. So I bought this connector at Amazon. I'm going to be plugging it into a 12 volt battery. Now a little bit later on in the video I'll show you how you can use like a laptop charger and uh, you won't have to use a 12 volt battery. That's what I happen to have and uh, find useful around my shop. And I'm going ahead and soldering these connectors. Uh, you know, like I said, I have this equipment here handy. This isn't necessary. If you wanted to use a solderless connection here, it wouldn't be no problem. And uh, I guess it just stands to reason that if you're going to be doing it the way I'm doing it here, you need to probably wear some gloves. I never do, but I don't want anybody to get burnt. I like using the torch. That's a lot of fun. Well, here it is, plugged into a battery. Man, it just really turned out nice. Now, I didn't have enough in two reels of light strips to go all the way around it with three strips, so it actually ended up with two strips on one side and three on the other. But there's the polycarbonate laying on top of it. Now, I'm going to lay mine down on some shiny aluminum as a reflector just because that's what I have handy. Um, you might use a, a white sheet or just about anything under it that would reflect light. What I'm going to be doing is taking photographs of things that we're going to be putting on websites to sell, so this will work perfect for me. Um, here's a picture of that connector that I was telling you about. This comes on the LEDMO light strip from Amazon. 
really a nice little connector and then I purchased these separately these are solderless connectors for the ends of the light strips in case you have to cut them in the middle which they work really good they just push together in two simple snaps and it holds itself solid uh, they they really do work good I've tested them now here's the LED strips that I bought from Amazon that I liked the brand name on those is LEDMO they're very high quality and they have a I believe they call it a PCE board anyway the copper in the strip is a little bit heavier than the cheaper strips and they come with this nice cable end to plug into your laptop charger in case you would want to do it that way here's a picture of that uh, copper you can't really see what I'm talking about in the pictures notice that your instructions are on Amazon this is about all the instructions that you'll get when you order your light strips so pay, pay close attention to any instructions that you do get here's the uh, Ally Express the other strip that I ordered almost as good but not nearly as sticky on the back and it doesn't come with the nice plug-in for your laptop charger in case it's that's the way you're planning on running your light board so that's something you're going to want to keep in mind here's a picture of the different numbers above the LEDs for their size that's a metric rule below it we got the biggest one on our light strips <clears throat> actually this number is slightly larger than our number but it's close um, this is a Calvin scale so if we go back to Amazon to these lights we see that the Calvin on those is around 3000 slightly less so it's going to be right in the middle of the light spectrum right around 3000 maybe a little lower even if you went a little bit higher it would still look good in a photograph if you want to learn more about LED light strips Wikipedia is the best place take a look here and don't forget to click this link types of SMD that's something that you're going to need to learn about if you have uh, any specific purposes that you want to do with an LED at all and Wikipedia has a nice chart listed to explain the luminosity and the power usage and uh, everything that you would want to know about an LED is going to be listed right here in Wikipedia I found it to be very useful so that should give you a great place to start on your new project well if you've liked this video and you found it useful be sure and like and subscribe to my channel and share it with a friend it really encourages me to keep on encouraging you have a great day